Hi friends, good afternoon. Here we are starting login. How to login with the help of CSA? Okay. How we can make or design a login form with the help of CSA in Visual Studio? Friends, what we have to do is we need for the login properly or uh, doing this work. We need to first start the project. As we go to file, uh, we click here so to load it as uh, we click on the project so the project will tell us load us the list of all the type of installed as well as uh, online project okay? that is possible you can use but as a most common is we are doing csr so i click on csr i have first of all i told you that we are working with a this windows form application so windows form application that means we are making a login with application not with a website and online okay so first of all you have to clear it up now friends we go here and we type the project name that our login login one okay we have named it login one and as you click here you can create a directory so we we need a proper resolution directory so we have uh, check it. Uh, load the directory. Click OK. Now we go here for uh, it will loading loading down. But I tell you in between this that we also need a database here. Okay, so we can connect a database from most common thing is used that is SQL. Okay, so we shall use SQL table also. Here. So we need two things. One that we are doing here in the Visual Studio CSR. So we have to create also our table design from which we can get the data. All good. Here it is given SQL. It means SQL is already the part of Visual Studio. So it, be, it means we have not to think more and so easy we can easily we can do. Okay. So friends, uh, not wasting the time, we go for very fastly and quickly that uh, I design the table here. I, I I just draw it out. So this uh, this form will uh, increase the size. And uh, now this is the property table. Okay, property already open. Let me close it. And I see, friend, that we have uh, three common things very important right now. We see first one is we have this form is called form design. Okay, and uh, second thing here it is we have this is called resolution explorer. So it is very very important. This resolution explorer will load all the property of our SQL, uh, all the property of our Visual Studio application. So under this we have login one and under login one we have a form is called form. Okay, form one. Even we can change the name of this form after clicking, we can change the name of form. But basically we need to type it from property. So we can right click here and uh, we can click on property. Even we can type the name here, login. Okay. So now we can see there is login. Okay, friend. Now see here login. Okay. Uh, now the important thing is uh, this property is important. So what is the property? So all the items whatsoever we use here, all the items will be displayed under the property. So what property does? The property will say, say and disclose all the possibility that we can use or all the things whatsoever there is in a particular item. Okay. Right now I have a form, so it is in the property of the form. As I change the color of background, I can change the color. Okay. Suppose I like this color so this color is here and now the very common thing is tools okay? tools are very important so as I click here I need two text boxes I type here text okay? so I have text box okay I can drag it here and copy it and paste it okay? so I have two text boxes and I can select both together and I can handle them as it okay now I need two levels also I click here and write, write level as I press type LA, so list of level comes here and the name of this. Okay, so uh, with the level, I have to write the name of our form, the big characters. Okay, so I can type here and do property, and I can change the text of my this level that is called the name of uh, level. I don't know name, I want text. Okay, so I can go here and I visualize this. So it is here. Is showing text. Okay, so I can type here login 
form login form okay i typed it now i need the size of text to be bigger so i can click here and change the form size of the form that headings okay so all these things can be done from here as i click on this it will show the property here and i can change according to my requirement okay even i can change the color so i can change the color okay this is the change this color even this is not matching well so you can type in the okay now you have need of level here also so you can type in click level you can find level and copy and paste so because you, you need two levels here so one is this and second is this you can go here and right click and go property to so also here level so now you can change the text of this you can say here username username so username is correct now you have under field that is password okay so password password okay now i need other thing i need not text but text box name change okay i won't change the name of text box according to my requirement now i see on the property what is the name of this text box the name of this text box is text box 1 but i want txt user txt user so i type it txt user and enter it okay this will not be displayed here but the name of the property name of this text box in background will be used so that name we shall use in the coding okay same thing here we click it and change text box to and the txt pass okay user and pass okay so now see here name user name text box okay both we have changed Third thing we require here is button. So we click on text box here and type button. B U T as a type. So we enter so to be putting here a button. And now you have to go to also name with this. I want uh, login. The name should be login. B C N login. So it will be name. Okay. But also display text should be button. So we can write here login. We need login. So let's login here. Okay. Even we can change the color of this uh, from this way. We can change text box and the names and etc. So here we have here we have name of these all things according to the format. Friends, as you click here and we type the login name here. Now we need to do one thing. We need a group box here to put in the better to by that. So we type gr as a group box comes here. We can put it here. So it will be beautify now. Okay. It means we can put all these properties here and uh, we can put this here. Okay. And we can put this here. Okay. Now getting this into this. Okay. So it is a beautiful look. Okay. Now uh, I can change the name of this look also. Text box to be login. Login here. It will display like this. Okay. So friends, now you see the look of my login page like this. Okay. This is a design first. Okay. After making design, I need to code it. So what I have to do is I have to go, uh, do that uh, right click. And it's a view code, click on view code. So I see another page. First page is this design, another page is this CS file. Okay. So first one design page under which we have designed this look, and other we have is CS, CS coding file. In coding file, first of all, I need a connection file. Without connection, this file cannot run. Although this design can run, but nothing will happen because until we have the connection. A connection file will get the data from SQL. Okay, from SQL, the data will come to the Visual Studio, and under this form, this should match with the particular data that is in the table in the database. Okay, so SQL database will hold a table which will use the same data as we will log in from here. So for that, we need to go under this and click this and uh, right click and add add an item okay for the login we click it on and then we go to class in the class we go here and cs is a common thing that is extension and put the name change the name as connection as you enter it 
you see correctly okay now under this we have to do something under this section okay this is class connection under this we have to do something okay what you have to do is we have to type something here i will say how to, to do and what friends here what we have to do is we have to uh, put a string here so let me put this string here as uh, the string should be like this okay so how it will work it will not work until we are working something upside we have to do something change here okay because this is not reading our file so we need to go for system file system means this system is not running me reading the or sql code get a script connection but this is not reading, being read so how they will read i will type here using system dot data dot sql file okay so the, this client will read the data now see here you are in the SQL connection is okay because this connection and these all codes are taken from the system with the help of this client okay our other health data set not ready so what we have to do is we have to use using system dot type the data and okay so now you see all data set has been read so this is very important now our connection string is clear okay so we can read the connection the variable is object con and new connection we type this and this is string okay this is the location of file where we have database is located but friends we have to check out that uh, how from sql we can get the data okay for that we need to go here and check out if we have some data tables there are already data tables are available we can also then we can create new ones if you want new database data table here so you can click on it right click and click on again with a head click on item go here and see if there is some data database so that look local database it's extremely SDF. This is not correct, okay? Because we are using SQL, SQL use MDF. MDF files are used at database. Okay? Now I check this one. Yeah, this is MDF, okay? So this is uh, helping us in MDF or SQL. So I will change this one here. I'll say login. I want main login, okay? So as I click it on login or i say login one okay so that will also acceptable i click now this will be looked at okay and because that is the part of our sql because i said you that uh, visual studio is part of sql so sql is taken under inside of visual studio that's why we can work together so i don't i need not to go in an under software i even can get it from the same visual studio so i will wait and see in listing here if that has been connected to my real studio okay so friends this is very important for that the database will be connected and we have to get the property of that database to this string okay so it is seeing the correction time out expired okay there is some problem i think so uh not able to connect if not connect so we can we can do one thing we can use this one also okay the same thing as it is here so we also have here we see here in the server explorer there are main database are already created okay if that is created we can use that also okay friends we can see out that uh, if we create a database it will come here and also show the same as it is here okay the same thing if there is already made i can use that what i do i go ahead and refresh this i i refresh the then project mdb ndf if i see there is a listing something some database are already there so i check out i click so this is then project database is there but is there table i see oh table it is here but uh, under table if there is table available so i click and see okay there are many tables one is uh, camp payment and the contact and uh, okay i want to use one table suppose this one is not available that i want to use okay i see what is the field oh fields are login user full name company name let me right click and check the data what is there 
I click check the data because I have to log in it. Uh, so I check the data. This is okay. Now I click on show data. So I can see the data what it is written in the database. So when I click on it and uh, then it will run and will display me if there is some data available. Friend, it takes time because uh, now it will connect to some SQL Server and because uh, this is the process of taking time. Yeah, see here, this JNS and password is one two three. So I don't only need two fields, okay? So for that, I I just uh, see here that this is the data and I want to use it in my database. So what I have to do is first I go to this DN table, right click, go to property, and check out the connection string and Select all, copy it, and paste it into the uh, my connection file. And where there is a connection data is put, I will change this as this. Okay. Now this connection data is already with my. Okay. So this is okay. Now my table has been connected. Now friends, on the connection file, I want something more you to tell. What I want to say is that. Uh, this is a class that I can put here, okay? Also, this is a class. This class name is called public class, okay? And under this, we have data set select. What happens actually? We type many types of code and every time we go and type select to select okay, we have to select uh, type this select string many times so for that we do these things are repeatable it means uh, this once i put it so every time whenever i will type any command or uh, in the command sql command for selecting data again i'm gonna have to type this so i want three so i want this data here and directly i want this data also uh, to be used every time in my Visual Studio. So I don't need to type again and again these lines in my Visual Studio. So that I have put this string here. Also I put other, other string. Some more string I have put here. I will use them. This string. What will this string do? This string will help us in uh, this thing will help us in Selecting those okay. public items, we can populate our items as uh, the same as it is here. Okay, you can see both are same commands, so I don't need to use both of them. But okay, that is the data set using and that data table. Using. The very critical thing is there. It will check the table. It will be, uh, check on the data set. Okay, if data are set, so imaginary a data set will be there. So that will use both are not same, both are same. But only data set and data table are used. Okay, but both will work same. So this is uh, it to select this is now. I go follow. Again, I send you some other things, okay, which will help you very much. Friends, here I have another class uh, that is also important class, okay. This is very important. Insert class, okay. This will help to insert your data from Visual Studio to SQL table database okay that's our database in sql it will insert the data from your it will help you okay although not using this all over here but it is very important you can use read time it is using the method of try catch matter this is error handling method this very popularly used in visual studio as well as in java friends again other functions important functions we have i will tell you a public read row string okay i can also uh, read the data from 
acid base. Okay, for that I have this one more function, or I can say class that you can use in your data. So these are helpful for you. Okay, when you are required, you can use them. But I am just telling you because this is important, and you will get many time in life that you will realize that is very important. Even for updating, you can click this data. This will help you to update your data. Okay, you can easily tell and update your data. Okay, so these are the very important things which I have put here as a complete class. You have to study on them. Please check out, go through one by one, and study about it. Okay, it's so very very important for the present file for a better and better for uh, an expert CS student as well as a teacher as well as a person who will know you very well will definitely define these all things because that's part of your better study. Come back. And at the login, what I have to do now is we click and go to the code. Now we have to just type here few things. What? First of all, I want my collection here. Okay, this will be under this. See, this is the form, and this form should be accessing here this line, this line, and here I want connection with OBJ object form equal to new connection and. Now my connection file will be here. Now I type uh, the button that is on application and double click it. After double clicking, it will come here. PTL. So this is the name of our button in the system. Okay, this name is used here. So this is PTN login that I had changed. As you know, I had changed it here in the property. As you know that this table is the text. And this is the name here. I have defined. Okay, so this name is we have now looking here. Okay, so under this button we have to execute the command. What command we want? We want if txt that txt. You know that what I have said you already defined. Okay, dot text. If text box with the text box means this text box is Blank. So blank is equal to blank. If this text was blank, then say what? You we'll say message box dot show a message. What? You we'll show a message that user name is empty. Okay. Or we can say cannot empty. Cannot empty. This is the thing. Else if else if txt pass dot text is equal to blank, then match will be same. After reading both lines, it will come here and we will check the string that is uh, string query is equal to select from what is the name of table? You can see login. Okay? Select from login. Select from login. Where username is equal to. See here how we do it. First, we have to use single code under that double code, then plus, and then you tap text. Okay, plus text. Text. Okay. And password is equal to single quote, double quote, plus plus txt pass dot text. Okay, this will be okay. 
Now complete this. Complete it because uh, this will terminate as we have started from here. So with this code, the same thing will be last. Okay, and enter end it with a semicolon. Okay. So now this is our string. So we want to execute this uh, string with uh, help of uh, let's say ds data set ds new data set. Okay. Enter and ds equal to object code dot select to select that. Now see here this select. And it will be this query. Okay, this query will read. Okay, so immediately there is data set will check the connection and select the query. What query? What says it will be selected from the that database which we have already used here. So it will check and username and password and will get it. Okay, if this this will get it after getting the data, it will say. zero okay if it is greater than zero then what will happen it will say that this dot means this table will be closed and uh, oh, we have to take home this too. we have to take it home how oh, so we can right click again and uh, go to here new tab and new icon and click here okay home so now we have it in need of home so window home and uh, delete this data type here so see the form we have this is home there should be a text box written level. So this is level. Okay. This doesn't we don't need to Well, and we can later that. So under property, we need that. This will be a bit bigger, so it will be easily to read. Okay, so I click it and I see that it will take little time. So this will be a massive. Okay, you can, what you see here, this is the massive when we are able to log in properly. So the code should be load it and home. Equal to new old and has a lot so okay. If suppose this is possible, if data is found and this is happen, okay. Check out this. It's very important message. If this happens, or if not, if this is left, then You have not, or we can say, logged in in fact. this matter. So now I click this part. When I click it, then it will debugging. There are two methods. One is uh, debug, one is release. So we can use any of them. But sometimes debug is uh, uh, processing the old uh, 
uh, under the structure of the old readings, so release is better one which will fit back. Okay. Now see, we have read the program and this is the output box. Okay. Under this, we need to check out that we have put here uh, CMS. Okay. Again, I show you that uh, this word here uh, from the SQL is. The data is username and password. We put C here, data at JMS in 1 to 3. Okay, so I won't show you if this is possibly logging. Okay, JMS in so currently running and uh, I think there's something error. You see, nearby the username is incorrect. So here is the error with JMS, okay? JMS and password. Mm, there is something error. One, two, three. Okay, here is the error. So let us see. What so friends, here was a little bit change required. Uh, this uh, username, this uh, we have the as in it. Um, yeah. Smaller and all other text should look same. So I don't think very big change required. But yeah, after uh, if this is found, so uh, we need to if it, this be closed, you know, uh, this be closed. So maybe that uh, within closing it will not open. So we shall put it uh, as a comment. Okay, we shall put it as a comment. Now if you run again it, so let's see what happens. I just type CMS into 3, okay? So oh, that's great. So we got it, we set this movie. So friends, thank you so much. Please, if you like this video, you got the knowledge, you got something that you wish, so please subscribe this video. The further videos with a better update updations we shall provide you. Thank you, thank you so much. Very well friends.